today, my friend. So today we have a little different episode going on. We are going to go to Papa, Papa Amigos. Papa Amigos in Pompano Beach, Florida. Yeah. But it's going to be gonna, a little bit different. We're going to have special guests there with us today. So we're about to get ready yeah. and we're going we're over there. Head out the door. And then we'll show, we'll, we'll see you guys you over guys there. You guys will see what we got razzled. You ready? Yeah. One, One, two, two three. three. And we have Lauren and Brian, who are the owners of the food truck here in Pompano Beach. And we have them here so they can tell a little bit about what we're going to be eating and what inspired them and and a little bit about you guys. So go ahead. It's a, it's a happy COVID-19. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we uh, we started this journey um, about a year ago, Lauren and I. Uh, we had an opportunity to work with a new brand uh, called Papa Nigos. Um, definitely went down to the Mexican Paco. It's really a fun brand. Uh, who doesn't like tacos? Exactly. So, exactly. Right? You guys know so, that tacos is Jess's favorite thing. So come on, this is this is so, the place. What the main thing, you know, Lauren and I, Lauren and I talked about early on was, you know, we're neither one of us are Latin. You know, we're, okay. we're not Mexican in any, any, any way, shape, or form. So the way we designed our menu is we wanted to give respect to the whole world. Okay. So we did our homework, we did our research. I mean, we we were. Google translating recipes literally from out of Mexico, um, you know, wow. off online, you know, and we got a lot of inspiration on the West Coast, you know, West, um, I was in the Marine Corps out there, I'm, I'm a veteran, um, I spent a lot of time, you know, don't tell anyone if you want to, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, but uh, with, with the, I, was, I was brave enough to try a lot of the street food, you know, a lot of my buddies were in LA, you know, and, and, uh, and uh, in areas where the street food was very prominent, um, so the flavors were amazing, you know, and that, that left a really big mark, you know, uh, you know, with so, you know, I wanted to try to replicate that. You know, you go around anywhere in South Florida, you don't really get that West Coast. No, 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 you no, don't, not at all. It's and so hard. We've tried multiple times. We, we have, and the one thing that we've discussed, we said we, we want to do a trip to Cali and show it. Oh, yeah, no, no absolutely. For the show, so. We want to, too. <laughs> but, um, you know, and then, you know, we, we got through, what, I would say, like six or eight recipes, and then, you know, we were kind of looking for something really cool. So we were just kind of looking online one night, and, uh, and you know, then, you kind of, Recipe back and forth, and uh, Lauren's like, Well, look at this, you know. And that's what we are You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, can you, can you, I know this right now is like the biggest trending thing, and you guys are basically the only places here that, that, that we know of that, we know of that are serving this because you guys were recommended to us. Can you tell us what is a Maria Taco? A Maria Taco is a truck roast and it's braised and cooked in a pot for like six to eight hours wow. with lots of love. Uh, it's been taken out of the pot, and what we do is we dip the tortillas in the oil. Um, it is finished on the flat top with the meat, mozzarella cheese, cilantro, and onion. Um, so it gets like crispy, nice outside, and um, it is served with a consomme and lime and some cilantro and onion. It is the dipping taco. Yes. The dipping it's taco. Definitely that's 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 people, the dipping taco. People are driving from everywhere. So we, you know, back to the whole COVID thing. You know, we we really we took an opportunity. Work at the CRA. We were building the restaurant. We were, we were about to start breaking ground, and you know, it, the whole COVID thing happened. We, we had to sit back and decide whether we were going to build it. Yeah. And uh, you know, the, thank goodness the CRA and then Pompano has been so awesome in working with us. You know, any of our ideas, they kind of allowed us to you know to, to like make it. Make, right, make and it's for it. the small businesses. Yeah. That's why Liz and I decided that when we want, we started this YouTube channel. We wanted to feature the small businesses mom and pop the ones who are suffering right now because those are the ones during this pandemic that are suffering but the one thing that people are not stopping during this pandemic is eating right <laughs> that is that's one thing that's i mean i'm i'm dying to, to try these tacos i'm ready to like dig in um but before what do we have here so, so what, what is this what is so what is that one those are the butcher tacos um carne asada uh queso fresco cheese cilantro and onion fresh guacamole Okay, mayo. Um, we have a jerk chicken burrito. Um, so it's Mexican rice, pinto beans, uh, avocado, chipotle mayo, jerk chicken. Um, here we do have our famous sushi tacos as well. So we do have the, this is the skinny mama. So there's no rice in this one. It does have seaweed, tuna, salmon, wahoo, 
Lots of goodness wait. on top. I know, I um, love This one is our tzatziki. Um, this has tuna, rice, um, the jalapeno, jalapeno avocado. avocado. And, yeah. and this is the um, spicy diva, which has salmon, mango, jalapeno, Ooh. Um, yeah, avocado. and avocado. Yep. Okay, and what are these little delights that I see uh, in this corner uh, over here? Famous, uh, famous I, thing, I would bring a thing of milk with you. Uh, <laughs> cookies so those are tri chocolate brown buttered nutella stuffed <gasps> cookies oh my you said God. nutella was like crazy <laughs> oh wow so all right so which one are we gonna dig into first guys Please. i want to try the sushi one you want to try the sushi one it's all a good right. combination it is. you won't taste one. it even if all right go all right, ahead with here we go <laughs> Yeah. One of the things we had a hard time in the beginning finding is that good crunch, you know? So yeah. Wow. Yeah. It tastes exactly like sushi. <laughs> but in a taco. But in a taco. But in a, the best of both worlds. So Wait, crazy. can you can you show it please real quick? Like it, it it's a sushi taco, guys. Like there, there, there's a quarter cup of sushi uh meat uh, uh, in Yeah. In, in, you know, Holy cow. This is like for real like so good. Mm. Good. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this one is called the tzatziki. The tzatziki, guys. So here I go. Oh. Wow. What? Oh my goodness. Hold on. <laughs> I want to do what they do. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have I love sushi them. guys, but I would have never thought putting sushi in a taco. Like it, in a taco. Like look at that. That's so crazy. And it really tastes and it just does like the sushi. The crunch of it is so amazing. So Jesse has a thing where we didn't know that she does this, but she says so good all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and really we caught it in one video, she said it 11 times in like a five minute span. <laughs> I would have never thought, you guys, honestly, to put, like, how did you come up with this idea? A lot of research. It took me a while. That was probably the hardest thing to do. And what type of sauce is this? That has spicy mayo, eel sauce, and sriracha. Wow. And avocado. And avocado and cucumber and mango. Mm. It's really good, guys. I like the flavors together. So good, guys. That's all <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. It's so good. All right, who are we trying next? I really. I know. <laughs> Don't. I don't know. Yep. So we strain those water into what we use for the, mm. the tortillas mm. and then, then we get the good beef, you know, keep beef consuming um, underneath, you know. The mozzarella is a mild cheese, it melts nice, so it's, yeah. it's so delicious. It tastes like the quesadilla to me. Yeah. Like Quesa, dressing quesadilla, dressing. it's another okay. name. Yeah. We do actually a very uh, quesadilla and a very burrito as well. Yeah. Oof. Amazing. Liz would be in, in heaven with that. Liz loves quesadillas. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the carne asada um, quesadilla. God, I just love <laughs> like you, you can't dip it enough in there. How does it taste during the day? <laughs> The meat is so tender, guys, that when we bite into it, it's so, like, you can taste the flavors inside. Even though the meat is tender, you're not something you get tender meat, but it's just tender and no flavor inside. Like, literally, you can bite in the middle, like, the meat, and the flavors come out of this meat. Like, flavor it's flavor it's explosion. Exactly. Okay, so if you guys have not tried these, I'm telling you, these right here, as soon as you bite into it, no matter where you bite, you're going to taste those seasonings. And you guys know how I am. What seasoning is in here? <laughs> this right here, you should come for. Fire. Fire. Oh, yeah. 
Alright, All right. so last one. Help us launch our grand opening patio. Pop Amigos patio. Yes. yes. They're definitely going to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come back and we'll, menu, and we'll, we'll, we'll head around. We do offer both, but right. you know, we don't offer anything uh, hard or crispy. Yeah, yeah. Not yet, but once we get in the restaurant, we will. Maybe. Maybe. It's just really <laughs> hard to execute everything in the truck, so. Oh, yeah. This is real okay. carne asada, guys. I'm just gonna put that out there. You're gonna like this. Oh, I hope so. Your carne asada. Yeah, but you, but, and it's not, it's not super, because she doesn't like spicy, but you, you feel that tang from the, the mm -hmm. chipotle. It's a but it's like, of dry and fresh, you know, um, you know, like fresh color. As I like process fresh, the food, I, I taste fresh, something else cilantro, and something else and, and something else. Add the dry spices in it just to kind of enhance the rest of the food. Wow, that's actually like really good. Yeah. That was my favorite. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, that carne asada tastes like. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, so it's, it's made with traditional ingredients. Really you know, mm -hmm. but typically we, uh, they would make it with like a skirt. The main burrito? Yeah, it's the jerk burrito. Okay. Jerk. And what is in this jerk burrito? Mozzarella, Mexican rice, pinto beans, jerk chicken, avocado, chipotle mayo. This one would make it a little heat. Yeah, you may get a little bite on this one. But we compensate mm. that with the mango salsa. It has this least. mango salsa in it as well. Ooh, mango salsa. So you get salsa. a combination of sweet, spicy. Wow. It's important that you, you balance the, the spice with a little sweetness. You know, and, uh, the citrus. beans, oh my god, this is right. so good. Was it pinto? Yeah. I'm not a bean person, but we get a lot of great feedback on it. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the beans also kind of give it a little bit of that sweetness, too. So, but, whew, this is good. A little heat, too spicy? Or? <laughs> no. Jerk burrito. burrito. Mm, get in my belly. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow. Just Spanish rice. Mmm. Lots of flavor going on there. What? <laughs> right? No, it Amazing. really does. Okay. I taste the mango the mango sauce. You guys did an amazing job. Like this is great. <laughs> so wanna do what they do. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> You gotta try this, guys. You better come here for this. Wow. For all of this. All of it. For real. Take this. All that's missing is the milk. Oh my. Excuse me. That's okay. Oh my god, guys. Homemade cookies by Lauren, the owner at Papa Migos. We're going to buy them. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of oh my gods for this one. It's so good. So, so good. good. <laughs> All that's missing is the milk. <laughs> but it is, guys, look. It's the Nutella. Oh, I see the Nutella from right here. That's crazy. Inside. Wow. So good. Go Nervous. ahead. My mouth is watering. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like home. Mm -hmm. Wow. Holy cow. The Nutella is like falling off of yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It's like out. stuffed <laughs> in there. That's so good. I do need some milk though. <laughs> it's okay. It's like I over. Gave you a fair warning. Right? <laughs> oh my god. So, guys. guys, the food was amazing. Over the top. Over the top. You guys have to come and try. Um, it's not only the birria tacos, but they have such a big variety. So you have to come here. They have sushi. They have regular carne asada tacos. They burritos, burritos, quesadillas, quesadillas the and, and the cookies made by Lauren. Absolutely, <laughs> need to try. Just remember, you gotta bring milk when you come. Okay. <laughs> but Brian yeah. and Lauren, thank you so much for having yeah, us tonight, and, and thank, you for, this is, for this. thank you for the effort. Yeah. I would say because. This Lord, food was made with love, and you can tell with all the flavors and everything. Awesome. So we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll 
See you guys back at the Thank bar. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> We're back. Mm. All right, we just got back to the bar. Oh, like. Yeah. Like a solid six months pregnant yeah. worth of tacos right now. I have a food baby, but I want to just say, first of all, thank you so much. Literally, thank you so, so much, much Lauren. to Lauren and Brian um, for being our guests today on our show, which was super exciting. Yeah, like we were a guest in their restaurant, but they were a guest on our show. Yeah. We so. definitely loved it. Yeah, they, yeah. They were such a fun people to be with. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Their energy is great um, in their history. I mean, as you guys saw, like, where they came from, what they aspired to make in their food. How much um, work they put into it. Yeah, how much <laughs> sweat like, and tears to get to the recipes that they're pushing out now. Yeah. Like, my favorite, I mean, out of everything we ate there, I want to say, I, I've i had that, obviously, they're, they're known, that's what's trending there, is their, their birria tacos. Right. 100% A+. Plus, but oh, what okay. shocked me... Like the mind wow, blown. mind blown was when they brought us out sushi tacos, guys. When I can't, I can't like honestly, my expectations for the sushi tacos were like what? they okay. were gonna be close. You didn't, you didn't think, but it, it was like shattered because it was like it tasted exactly like sushi. Yeah, and before. the explosion of flavors, Brian. I like you because you're talking about those flavors like I do and absolutely and everything we ate today had its own little history, its own little story and it what it was made for, like the food guys, 100%, A+, plus. you guys have to try it. I give them an A. They were You know great. what also, boom, shattered my brain? Hmm. That cookie. Oh. Lauren, so the, the owner Lauren, Lauren my friend. makes you can come over for Sunday <laughs> yes, any day. Any day you want, Lauren. But any those weekend. cookies with Nutella in like, oh literally she said before we even ate, she's like, all that's missing is milk. And those were the Well, cookies. guess what? We're at home and we, we got milk. We got so. milk and we're gonna eat some of them cookies again. <laughs> but that was the, yeah. Wow. Wow. It's like holy cow amazing yeah. delicious definitely bow down to them because they were talking about how it like they would sit all day hours all day not all day. hours all, all day. day from the very early in the morning to late at night trying to perfect the recipe and god praise them because lord i could not do that myself yeah i y'all know how i feel about cooking so so i tell you guys go try it um, they're there. They're cooking. They're they're yeah. at the at the, the right now. It's a food truck they have until they currently you know get their restaurant up and going. One hundred percent. Like, I give you guys props. I I loved everything. Loved the story behind it. I just want to tell you guys go try it. Literally, and let us know when you do because for real, like we can have this experience together, together. because yeah. it's an experience worth talking about. Yeah. Okay. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the show. I really hope that you guys go to Pop Amigo, try the sushi tacos, try the bir the birria, try literally they have and so the many things. I mean, they just have so yeah, so many things, and they all literally taste amazing. Like it's crazy, just unbelievable. But you got the only way you'll know. Is if you try it yourself. And don't forget, <laughs> if you guys go tag us on Instagram, let us know because we want to know what you yes, tried seriously. there. Because there's still more things we want to go and try. Yeah. For so real. we're we'll be going back absolutely to go see them again and enjoy that. But we'll see you guys every Monday and every Friday. But most importantly, oh, oh. We'll, we'll see you 